this video is actually going to be um, a labor and delivery video. Um, I just had, well, didn't just have, I have a four month old little boy and I absolutely adore him. Um, me being a first time mom, I know when I was pregnant with him, I was researching and researching all about different people's um, birth videos just to kind of get somewhat of a sense of what I would be going through myself when I had him. So let's get right into it. So I had a normal pregnancy all the way up till about um, 34 weeks pregnant with my son. Um, when I was 34 weeks, when I went in for my checkup, um, they took my blood pressure and they noticed that it was fairly high. Um, I kind of explained to them it might be because I had a lot of personal stuff going on and I was just stressed out with um, the personal things going on along with work and what was going on in my work. Uh, so they didn't really think a whole lot of it and um, we checked it again when I went back and it was even higher. So my doctor then said, Sometimes they see that with um, the beginning stages of preeclampsia, uh, your blood pressure slowly starts to rise. And so um, it was a little concerning for her. After the third time I went in and my blood pressure was even higher or still pretty high, she continuously asked me every single time I went in um, if... I was having any other symptoms like um, fainting, dizzy, lightheaded, anything else that could um, correlate to me being preeclamptic. Um, I never had any other symptoms or anything um, leading up to preeclampsia at all. It was just the blood pressure. She was concerned about it, so it bumped me up from a regular um, low-risk pregnancy to a high-risk pregnancy. Um, and at 36 weeks, she... My doctor, she was like, okay, he's technically full term. Um, what do you think about being induced? And I personally really wanted to avoid being induced at all costs. So I chose not to be induced at 36 weeks. And I did a whole bunch of research and everything um, to try and keep him in as long as possible and so I was eating lots and lots of protein every single day. Um, there was an article I read and advice given that I should eat a whole chicken once and only eat chicken and only eat protein for a whole day. Um, and so I tried that and I was drinking the pregnancy tea that was recommended. So I was doing lots of things and that held me over and along with that my doctor had me checking my blood pressure at home with my own blood pressure cuff every single day, twice a day, along with going into the doctors once a week, checking my blood pressure and monitoring my baby um, to make sure that he was moving and active and everything seemed normal. All the way up until my 38 week pregnancy um, checkup at the doctors, I went in and my blood pressure was super, super high. It was like 185 over 80. Um, and so they were really, my doctor, she was really, really worried about my blood pressure. So she's like, can we please, please induce you today? Um, and after sitting there thinking about it, I felt like it was the right decision. So that night at like seven, I went into the hospital to be induced. And I was there that night. They gave me the medicine. I don't remember what it's called to kind of start your contractions. And it makes them sporadic. You can't really control how consistent they are or how strong they are or anything. And so I was on that that whole night and the next morning. And it wasn't doing a whole lot. Like it made me have contractions, but they weren't very strong and they weren't very consistent. And so it was kind of lagging. So on top of that, I wanted to try, I wanted to try to be as natural as possible with um, inducing labor. So I wanted to hold off on the Pitocin until I, it was like absolutely necessary. So I was walking around the hospital. I was bouncing on the birthing ball 
and none of it was working. So that's when they decided to give me Pitocin. So I was on Pitocin, like the lowest dose. That's all it took. And then it was like kicked it into high gear and I was into active labor. Um, I was laboring for two and a half days straight. Um, but towards the end at about 10, 30 or so after I was in active labor for like three or four hours, um, contractions were close enough. My doctor decided that, um, it was time to break my water. I did my birth completely natural. I had no pain medication or anything. And honestly, the worst pain that I had was, um, I have a bad hip from a car wreck a couple of years ago, a rollover. Um, and the way that my son was positioned in my body he was more off to the right of my body so whenever I had a contraction and it pushed him down he was pushing on that hip bone that was the most excruciating part of my entire labor like even having him wasn't as painful as that feeling that I had in my hip um, it was so bad that the only way I was able to stay calm and relax enough and not as in much pain um, I was on my knees hung over the my bed so my bed was propped up kind of like a chair and i was hanging over the bed laboring that way clear until she broke my water um she broke my water and then i don't even think it was three contractions later i was like i need to push i need to push and she kept telling me not yet not yet and i kind of just said screw it i'm gonna do it anyways so she supported me really well with that and helping me get him out um and the way that he came out was with his little hand up on his head um so that's what made it so hard for him to come out but everything else was smooth sailing i had no other complications or anything um after he was born and that's it guys um go ahead and leave comments below on other videos and or questions you might have um and i'll see you guys again soon